whiplash patients often ask for and use soft colors initially, but one possible disadvantage of using such a soft color may be becoming dependent on it. However, it has been suggested that while an active approach shows favorable outcomes compared to immobilization, short-term soft color use in the very early stages may not have any detrimental effects on the overall outcome. Maybe it is not necessary to throw out the baby with the bathwater, but to know that, it is important to explore the effectiveness of such a soft color on self-reported pain and disability. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. You probably have heard of someone near you that has suffered a whiplash, or maybe you have been in a car accident and sustained one yourself. We hope you haven't, and if you have, we hope you recovered well. We know that many people recover well, but around half of them continue to have persistent symptoms. They may initially be linked to the whiplash event in many cases, but later on, more and more can be explained by psychosocial factors. For example, hyperarousal, hypervigilance, kinesiophobia may have a spell on it. A systematic review was conducted in order to get more answers. RCTs published in the English, Danish, Swedish or Norwegian language that were assessing the effectiveness of the use of soft colors alone or in combination with other treatments and compared to rehabilitation without wearing soft colors were included. Outcome studies were self-reported neck pain on the VAS or NRS scales and disability at the end of the study. Disability at one year was a secondary endpoint of this investigation, but in case disability was not directly reported, data on cervical range of motion was accepted as a proxy. Considering the effect on pain, only two studies could be included in the meta-analysis. The overall effect favored an active approach over the use of a soft color, as it decreased pain on the VAS scale by two centimeters with a large effect size. None of the studies reported disability outcomes, but they used cervical range of motion instead. When expressed as a total score, no effect was seen. The authors also looked at specific cervical range of motion directions and chose rotation, as it theoretically represents elements of all movement directions due to the coupled nature of active cervical intervertebral movements. Also, in the direction of rotation, no significant effect was seen. Note that the grade assessment rated the overall certainty of the evidence as low for self-reported pain and very low for both total cervical range of motion and rotation. The evidence for neck pain was downgraded two levels due to risk of bias and imprecision and three levels for disability due to risk of bias, inconsistency, indirectness and imprecision. Low quality evidence revealed a reduction of more than two points on the VAS scale with an active approach which is below the minimal clinical important difference, but still might be important in the decision-making process. The use of soft colors should therefore not be recommended, but rather an active approach seems the way to go after a whiplash trauma. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Make sure to give it a like or leave a comment down below. Check out our website for free content that we publish every week or enroll in one of our courses online. This was Ellen for Physio Tutors. I'll see you in another video.